They got some B ball. <laughs> Dude, this RV park is outrageous, okay? Amenities galore. Pickleball, gym, but not, not a regular gym here. We're talking about full-blown facilities. Heated pool, sauna, sauna. They've got shuffleboard courts, miniature golf, disc golf, basketball courts, bocce ball courts, restaurants. It takes you one mile to get from one end to the other. This is the biggest, largest RV park we've been to. This is like the Disneyland of RV parks, but for adults. All right, we're gonna take you guys for a tour. Okay, we got, our neighbors are living it up right now. <laughs> living large. I'm pretty sure he's sipping on a little Dos Equis. <laughs> Enjoying that nice Florida weather this time of year, just perfect. All right, here's the park. First stop, the gym. Being full timers, we always appreciate when the RV park has one. It saves us from our limited home gym workouts. And we got Marshall Mathers out here. <laughs> We're deep Blue in eight miles. <laughs> <laughs> but this gym is an actual health club, so it's fancy. They have a weight room, a cardio room, and even a studio. The weight room is so legit. Their free weight selection is insane. They have two squat racks, a Smith machine, and all the other machines big box gyms have. We were in heaven here. That's your room? <laughs> Smell like getting some Ooh. eucalyptus? <laughs> the And they also have this outdoor gym area that we didn't use, but you know, had, had to show up for the tube. Ninja Warrior. Hi. Then you have the pool. They have both indoor and outdoor pools with hot tubs. We didn't want to be creepy and film anyone in their bathing suit. So here's us trying to be discreet. They've also got a giant water slide. If you've got kids, this place is super family friendly. And they also happen to have the nicest pickleball facility that we've seen at any RV park. <laughs> and while Olivia continues to kick my butt, I'd like to take the time to thank our patrons. Once again, thank you so much for your continued support. It means a lot. So this park's super legit. It's, uh, if you're into sports, if you're an athlete, you got tons of stuff to, to do, lots lots of play. Yeah. Lots of uh, leisurely <laughs> lots of activities. activities. <laughs> so many activities! <laughs> and just like, yeah, and everybody I think is in a sort of a a good mood, I'd say. I don't know. Yeah. There's just like a... My favorite thing about, about it is it kind of feels like its own little community, almost like its own little city, because there's 1,500 sites. That means there's easily over 1,500 people here. They're all full. We've been here for four days. And we've only left once to get Costco. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> like you could just spend all of your time here. So and everybody's got their little golf cart or electric scooter or one wheel to get around just because it takes... It's big. I think it's a mile from one end to the other. So this is pretty much the walk I do every morning uh, before I go to pickleball. So it takes me about, I'd say 12 minutes, a 12 minute walk to get to the pickleball course. And tell them what you saw in the water. <laughs> well, I saw some turtles. I saw some snakes. No, I snakes saw, is a big deal. I saw two snakes. I checked on my phone. I'm like, are they cotton mouths? Are they poisonous? But they weren't. And I haven't seen a gator yet, but there are signs. So no swimming allowed in this lake behind this. No. Yeah. But, and, but fishing is, so you can fish. <laughs> yeah, but it's a great park. I'm really enjoying it. And I feel like I'm wanting to get all of our money's worth because it's also not cheap. Yeah, but it's not terrible. I think it's about 60, 65 a night on a weekly rate. So I know I've been talking up this RV park. But I also want to talk about this area because we're in Florida and we're near some really nice beaches. The closest beach from where we are now is called Siesta Key Beach. And it's pretty well known. It's not any small kind of beach. It's a real deal beach, extra fine white sand. 
and we're heading there now and we were recommended by Randall at the RV park to get there early because it's peak season still it's the weekend and the, the parking lots fill up really quick so early is better we're heading to the beach let's go coffee coffee. <laughs> Nathan was kind of disappointed. We get in there and he's like, can Dude, I have like, half and half please? And they're like, sorry, we're a vegan cafe, so this, we don't This is carry. one of those vegan hipster cafes, okay? <laughs> I will say, coffee is very good. It turned out really good, but it's pretty pricey. It's always typically good, but it they charge like two extra dollars basically because for you know they use a splash of oat milk or something. Just... No, no, I think it's just their coffee is mm -hmm. expensive. But mm -hmm. for a large, for this large it's coffee, it's very good though. I will say. Four dollars and fifty cents, I think it was. It was nine dollars for two drip coffees. But ah, my corazón. Number one. We've made it to the beach. Woo! Haven stream. <laughs> Find a volleyball court. Right, Look, there's some over there too. Olivia stepping up her volley game with those shades, dude. What up, bro? How does it feel to get that peripheral shot day? Dude, these are amazing. I know, right? I feel like they look a little cray cray. And you but... get that little like violet tint to the whole world around you. <laughs> Hopefully we can hop on this game over here. We'll see. <laughs> playing volleyball. I'm sweaty as hell. Now I'm ready for a dig. Feels so good. <laughs> busy today for show. And we found out this truly is named the number one beach in the United States. Okay, a couple things we learned is the sand doesn't get hot because it reflects the sunlight. Yeah, so when we were playing volleyball, it wasn't that hot. And the water is clear, really nice. I don't know if it's the best, but it's up there. <laughs> Top five. <laughs> Six hours later. Okay, okay. One cheek done. Uh, I need both cheeks, maybe the back of my legs. I think it was three. I'm so sunburnt. We're trying tea bags. Oh. 